Hey everyone, welcome to my July bullet journal setup video. For this month I was not sure what theme to do. For the longest time I was thinking about doing a moon theme, but once I started working on it, it felt boring. So I added in cat silhouettes, because cats make everything better, right? This should have been a simple black and white theme, but it needed something more. And because of moons, I of course included yellows and oranges and it all looks slightly Halloween-y. <laughs> well, Halloween can't come soon enough, right? I am enjoying my current bullet journal setup, but I've been doing these same layouts for the past few months and it's getting a bit old, so today I am doing something different. I've always wanted to do this centerpiece on the cover page that you cut around so you can see the page below and I finally did that. I'm also intentionally adding black piece of paper on the next page to create more contrast and that will be my monthly to-do section. And here I am left with this awkward half and half page and I'm turning it into a workout sticker. For the pop of color I am using this extremely yellow Ecoline brush pen and bunch of stickers and washi tapes for more texture and detail on pages. This habit tracker is also a change after past months. I wanted to continue the moon theme, that's why all the days in these habit trackers are circular. And that's probably the only thought I had about this habit tracker. July starts awkwardly on Saturday and it's not the best for us bullet journalers. So I decided to have the first two days here and then I will continue with one spread for each week. First I am placing all the daily boxes into the spread while leaving space for the weekly to-do list. And then I am gluing in all the days of the week. They all have a slightly different style while still being in the team. As always I am trying to make all the spreads somewhat cohesive in color. The first two page spread is all grey and black. But next one is more colorful because of the daily stickers. So I went ahead and used more and various washi tapes. This is also just a first round for all of these spreads. After finishing them all, I'll be going over the whole July once again and filling in the blank spaces with all remaining cutouts from this month's theme. And if you're interested in this theme and want to have all these cute cats in your bullet journal too, there will be link in the description. I made it into a printable journaling kit though, so you will need to cut things out yourself. But it does not take long, I usually do that while watching something to pass the time. Lastly, I am working on the page tabs. Because I wanted to have the daily boxes as large as possible, I did not left lots of space for them, but it seems to be enough. And I was able to use just one washi tape strip for both sides, which is nice and easy. So this is my July bullet journal. It turned out way better and cuter than I expected and I can't wait to start using it. And what is your July theme? Let me know in the comments below. Have an absolutely lovely day. See you next time. Bye.